No, now I'm dead. Now we're dead. Put that bow away and just run. Holy crap. I'm going to lose my spear. No, no, I'm so done. Uh... Holy crap, I killed him too. That never happens. I should be dead. I should be dead twice over. Maybe even three. I don't think I have room for all this stuff. Look at all that meat. Skin. Yeah, that sucks. Skinning. I don't think we I gain anything from skinning it. I think if you, uh, if you kill an animal, I don't think it despawns as quick as the zombies do. So that wolf should still be up here with my spear in its face. Somewhere. Oh, don't tell me I lost my spear. No. Here, wolf, wolf. Man, I think it despawned. Oh, no, there it is. Haha. <laughs> Do I get my spear back? Do I get my arrow back? Yeah. Alright. Now, there's usually more than one walking around. When they howl, I don't know if they actually call another one over, but usually more than one shows up. This might still be here. I, I might grab it. I, I think the food will rot by the time we get back. How much health did I lose? Well, that's not so bad. That really worked out a lot better than it should have. Where am I going? I need to get to the airfield there and get my car going. See, my stamina bar is a little longer now. You notice my body has trained up a little bit, I suppose. So I can run for a, for a little longer under the stamina load. Um, if I eat certain foods, uh, my stamina doesn't go down, if at all. And uh, I, I generally try to eat a can of beans, and that'll keep me running. I, I don't know how long it lasts, maybe two minutes, maybe three. But you can run for quite a while. Quite a while. Um, full, full on sprint. I was hoping it was, oh my god, another freaking wolf. Like my, I never run into so many things. What the heck? And look at that, I have an infection. See that? I gotta get rid of that. Uh, it takes one of these. There's quite a few of these infection syringes available in game but man when you start out there aren't you don't you just don't have access to them unless you get lucky uh trying to get into the hospital right at the start of the game is not happening i can't believe i've already run into two wolves and a boar and i i survived like something something's going to kill me and it's going to be stupid it's going to be a dumb mistake that's quite a run, and I'm getting tired, so you know what we're gonna do? Give me a minute. I can't believe I haven't died yet. That's crazy. I don't know why I'm so lucky. If any of those were a bear, I, I, I know I'd be done. I'd be done. I don't want to run into a bear. You should see a, the bear when you're driving around come charging at you. It's crazy. It's actually kind of scary because you know you're gonna die and and the only thing going through your mind is did I set my respawn point where did I set it oh my god am I gonna have to run all the way back am I gonna lose anything already out of stamina I gotta get over there it's gonna be a, a bit of a slog at least I got tradables we should easily easily get the car 
Park it. What's coming up? Oh, I see some. Oh, no. Bandits. I can't survive bandits. There is a bandit camp there. They are not coded properly, I don't think. Because what they do is they all run at you. It's sort of like watching a bunch of eight-year-olds play floor hockey or soccer or, or whatever. They all just chase the ball and you're the ball and they all have automatic weapons and happy trigger fingers and they just do not let up they do not let up and they all come at you at the same time i think there's some work to be made there but you don't you don't want to run into them what do we got over there is that a rock yeah that's a rock I'm just gonna do an auto run here and Hopefully we don't run into any more problems getting there. It's just going to take a while. I might even speed this part of the video up. There's a mining cave. So you can actually use these caves to travel from one, one area to another fairly quickly. But there are undead in there. But I can get to... I can actually get pretty close to uh, the trader by using the cave. But it's, it's full of zombies. I don't know. Well, you know what? I've never done it before. I wonder where that would spit me out. I bet you it would spit me out right here. That's a long run killing things. No, I don't. I can't afford to, uh, the durability, honestly. We'll save that for another day. I hadn't thought about it before, though. I never had that. I've never seen it on my way here before. On the way to that trader. So I, I've never really had the option before. And, and now that I think about it. You know, I would have made, um, back at camp or something up there. If it's a bandit, I can't get too close. But I would, I would have made a bunch of stone arrows, stone and wooden arrows. And, uh, and taken the cave, no problem. Uh, they also bring up your mechanic skill. I think it's mechanics. And, and they're really fast to make. I think they're like, um, just a few seconds each. 10 seconds a piece, maybe? Maybe less. I think they're, they're quite quick. I think the bows are like 10 seconds, and that's a really great way to start your weapon skill. If you don't want to go to a, uh, a trader to learn your weapon. It's quite a ways. The graphics in this game are actually pretty good. I, I enjoy them. I have everything set on high. I don't have any issues. I'm running playing on 1440p monitor plus recording software on another 1440p monitor so i got dual monitors here and i'm running at 60 frames you know it doesn't slow down uh there's a little bit of pop in here or there it's still early access there are a lot of a lot of little things like that with this game but honestly like if you go on the forums and and read a lot of the complaints about slowing down and lagging and that's sort where of, i don't experience any of that you know occasionally i'll, I'll get a stutter here or there and the area loads like that quick I'll, I'll you'll you'll see it there'll be stutters every now and again but that's not my hardware it's it's the game loading in everything's running off of an ssd yeah so i don't i don't really run any issues and look at that there is a vehicle up here ah. so this is a good sign generally what i do is i look i look here for a vehicle if there's a vehicle here i'll put some fuel oh and i got so lucky it's my favorite vehicle it's my favorite vehicle. Like, oh, there's a zombie there. I don't know how I got this lucky. It's never here. Okay, so I will drop <laughs> one liter of fuel in there, and then uh, I will be back. Oh yeah, I will be back. You are mine. Okay, let's get get cruising here. I am happy now. That was, that's fantastic. That is my favorite car. A truck handles like a pig. Don't like driving it. The sedan is not so bad, but not great either. That little car there, just it handles way better than the rest. Uh, and I, just, I like driving it. It's easy. It's small, and I don't have to worry about hitting as many trees and rocks when I'm trying to get through the freaking forest to get to a trader with it. Which is a very common thing to do. One liter will get me pretty close to where I want to build. There's an interactive map available for this game, and, and it should tells you what each trader sells and trains. 
I usually have that up while I'm playing, but I don't this time. Just kind of winging it. Let's get rolling. My body skill must be getting up there. Did I stop? Oh, conditioning. Look at that. We're, we're just a hair from level two. So it's, it's a little confusing when you get the books because you'll get a book that says Engineering 3. And you don't use it when your skill is 3 over here. You use it like, well, actually, Electrical is a better example. Your skill is 3. Engineering book 3 doesn't increase it anymore. You need 4 because 4 is the one that's empty. So you want to look for, sorry, I'm in Electrical. You want to look for Electrical level 4 to fill up the fourth bubble. That's how it works. It's not electrical three, level three book, because that won't do anything for you. So whatever bubble you're working on is the book that you need to be reading. Oh, I'm getting water, energy. Oh yeah, everything's just, I thought I'd make it, like I said. Uh, we are not too far now. Just a few minutes. I just gotta stop getting distracted. You can run through most things. You can drive through small brush trees, the ones that give you sticks and fibers. No problem. You can drive right through them. It's like they don't even exist. She's up here. Nope. She's over here. I get turned around so easily in this game. Even when I'm driving, I'll be looking at the map because it, the map doesn't auto center on your character and and it doesn't turn with your direction. Like I, I just get thrown off and that's just me, I think, and the way my brain works. And I will swear that going right is south when I look at the map and it turns out it was left and I will waste fuel going somewhere I'm not supposed to be going, going the wrong direction, basically. Oh yeah, we're good. Come on, ice cream. This is by far the most important number one trader in the game to get you started. You could do it on foot. Like the first so many hours I played, it was all on foot. I didn't even think about getting a car because I thought fuel was too expensive. I didn't want to have to deal with the maintenance, but nah, vehicle, vehicle, vehicle. Especially with hordes coming. Okay, I should have been here on day two, not day three. All right, have a look here, Barter. Uh, she's only got one. Sometimes she has two. That's unfortunate, but we, we, I did find the car that I want. Uh, there's some cool stuff here. It takes up a lot of inventory, so unless you really need it, I wouldn't. I'm not sure I'd be buying those. And look at the freshness date on them. Two days. Like by the end of day one, you're already you're you're well into the yellow on your way to red. So that's gonna cost 14.5. This battery's worth 25, so that's way too much. I can give her 14 bullets and that should cover the cost. Uh, we'll just cancel that. We'll have a look. See what she trains. I don't think it's anything I want right away. Egg and something else. Cooking. Eh. I don't. I don't really need that till later. Like way later. I don't depend on it. Cause food. I mean, I've got like twenty some odd days of food in this game before it all rots out, and then it respawns anyway. I don't really need the cooking yet. So you know what? We'll. Uh, well, I gotta make room for that anyway. So to make room, I'll go ahead and give her this and that'll give me some rep for later in the game because that, that rep, I don't know if that respawns. You know what? That's a really good question. Every five days, they respawn their inventory. That's what I have the setting set at. Merchant restock interval five. I don't know if every five days this resets, but this will stay like the reputation does stay. And if it resets, that kind of sucks. But you know what? I mean, I guess if I'm giving it to her now, so forget that thought. And we will go right into teach me some stuff. And we'll get level one on both.
just to get started on a few things later if if i decide to go that route uh, i'll barter with you give you another one of those that gives me tons of room for there you go okay so we'll do we'll do it the long way teach me something egg we'll do 20 20 oh you see how the colors changed because my mood has gone down. Time for some of that happy drink. Bring that baby back up. This one's 30, I think. Uh, we got 55. We'll go for... Uh, cooking. And... We will... Barter these guys. 48. Yeah, I'll give you a tip. That is excellent. Now, you know what? We will take a chili just because I want to be able to sprint most of the way back. Take one chili, one of those, and that cost me two, three bullets. Yeah, I know there's a slider. I'm lazy. Oh, two bullets. All right. So I need six rocks. One, two, three, four. Five, six, and a stick. All right, just do it that way. I might be too close to her to build. You can't build close to her, so we'll go outdoor. Yeah, I'm too close. Look at my map. I want to be heading the opposite direction, which is there. The other opposite. There we go. There it is. So we will add everything, and I need one more stick. There we go. Put some stick in there. We'll put some chili in there. Now, when you're cooking, it doesn't take long. It'll heat up really fast. But I think you've got, like, around 30 seconds before it it's ruined. So once it's cooked, either eat it right away or throw it in your inventory. And it's only good for two days but I consume it right away and we'll use it to get back to the car. It doesn't make me faster, it just allows me to sprint longer. Oh, I'm, I'm tired too. Ah, I should have laid down first. Oh well. But you see my stamina is going down a lot slower and I'm going the wrong way, hello. Let's try to get back there. Yeah, it's going down pretty slow, even though I'm fatigued. Oh, I hope I don't. Oh, there we go. Now it's starting to get dark, too. Oh, we're so close to the road. I don't know if terrain makes a difference in speed. I don't think it does. I think uh, you run just as fast in the forest as you do on the road, on the pavement. All right. We got to be getting there. Get close. I can see it now. I know there's a zombie out there somewhere. Come on, car. This is a crazy, it could be really bad. There's there's these big fat zombies. I call them big fellows. And they just they just wreck your day. They're so brutal. They just charge at you and slam into you and they take tons of ammo to take down. I do not like screwing around with them. There's my car. Now how repairing works is you have to put the kit in the trunk. Hit the repair button and one kit is worth 50 condition. I have one fuel, so 
I have to figure this out before I even get into this thing. Uh, so I'm going that way to my home. So I'll stay on this road, stay to the right, and that is my home there. It's day three. It's going to be day four shortly. We will enter, turn on the lights. My fuel is non-existent. I don't know where I'm going to get to. Oh, yeah, I love this car. I mean, it doesn't look like much, you know, watching this, but trust me. This is this is it right here. So we'll just keep going. Hopefully my fuel will get me close enough. Man, I should have brought more with me. I don't think I've ever brought that that small amount before. One liter. One liter. Everything in this game, every vehicle that's drivable is a gas pig, so... Wow, I think I'm almost out already. Things are just going to start slowing down. There's a really bad spot to slow down, and I don't want to slow down. Oh, is that it? That can't be it. No... Now, if you exit, it stops. I'm sure they'll fix that at some point. Wow. That sucks. That got me halfway there. There's tons of fuel in here. What do I do? I'll just go... Ah, I can't believe that. Oh, my goodness. Okay. We'll just unload everything into here, because I don't need any tradables. I don't need... Anything here that might help? Uh, I'll take that, though. I think my weight is down, so I'll run a little faster. Holy rain. Lots of raining. Oh, and I'm tired. Look at that. Wow. This sucks. Let's get a bit of a nap. Maybe 45. This game is all about balance. You're constantly trying to keep things balanced, which is a good thing. Because that's how a survival craft should play, in my opinion. And uh, this game absolutely nails it. All right. We are up and at him. And going this way. I need fuel. I need to make a bed. Set my spawn point. I need a barrel of fuel and I'll come back and get my car. Oh my goodness. Lots of fuel in that industrial area. I, like, there's so much that I use it, the industrial area storage and just deal with the respawns of, of the undead without hesitation because it there's just everything is there all, all the components that i need to build a lot of different things it's a i think it's a really good place to build like your home base i haven't i've only lived mostly on this side of the island i haven't i've had starts on the other side but i always find myself coming back here uh and again this is my favorite spot so far i haven't been to the other side but i'm always keeping an eye out I mean, I have been to the other side, but I haven't really explored the entirety of it. Uh, but I always do keep an eye out for a new new place to build. Um, I guess I should have been sprinting. All right. So the industrial area is over there. It's a manufacturing facility of some sort. And my build area is not here. Oh, you know what? We're close to water. No, I'm pretty clean. You know why? Because it's always raining. But my build site is down here. Lots of trees, lots of rocks, lots of uh, medicinal herbs, herbs. A bus stop, you know, if I need one. Uh, but I leave these trees here and I build in there. And I have a beautiful view of the o the water. I don't know if it's an ocean. I think it's an ocean. And then there's mountains in the background. And anyway, we'll get there eventually. But for now, I need sticks and fiber. Are 
we uh are we down to fatigued again uh the only one thing that that you don't find much of in in the industrial area is food so i don't i don't even go there looking for it if i need food I, i'll leave I'll, I'll go i'll take a drive down the road that ship down on the beach there has a lot of food on it and it will all rot eventually so i go down there i use that as my food storage basically my my bulk storage uh what do we have here we want outdoor no nope, we want furniture and a bed and this is kind of my marker here of where i like to set up my first first area i mean my safe spot and like the so when you deconstruct something if it's foundation you don't get your material back but if it's anything else you get your material back so it doesn't matter where i uh set my my bed i can deconstruct it and get my material back and that goes for anything i build unless it's structural has something to do with building i i don't think we get any of that back sometimes there's a car here too anyway zombies here sometimes they're bad 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 and other times they're okay sometimes they don't pop in right away oh yeah look at that glowy guy down there he loves to run at you and explode i might actually get lucky and find fuel like right here before they show up toolbox i'll take that uh coal i'll take that the ores i love ore but i'll take it come on fuel oh i see you coming oh you're still far away i think you're uh no you're close enough i think there was two wasn't there okay so if if i've killed one there's more coming you just need oh yeah steel axe okay i'll show you a trick with these uh maybe not a trick just a resource management thing i do uh battery that's a good battery by the way if you don't have the industrials that's that's your next one here we go with the books um i hear you Dang it, you're behind me and you're in front of me. No, it's a spitter. Damn. I'm having the worst luck with baddies. Oh, I love my arrows. If I can find that other one, that'd be great. There we are. Oh, did I lose more than one? I did too. All right. What was I saying? I don't know. What was in here? Oh yeah, books. I don't know what I need right now. I shouldn't really be looking at this. Oh, metallurgy I do need. I don't want to read books. I hate books. I hate, hate, hate books in this game. I just take up so much time. Look at that fuel. Look at that fuel. Do I even have room for that? That's it. I don't even want anything else. We got what I wanted. I want my car. I want some energy. I don't have any food on me. There's no food there, really. Where's my marker? There it is. To get full on your fatigue uh, bar down here, three hours will usually fill it right up. There we go. Now I can... The only problem is everything else goes down, right? while you're sleeping i don't like to sleep unless i absolutely have to but i think it's taking a little longer than it should have to get to where i'm at and i gotta go find my car graphics are pretty nice i think it everything looks great 
clay that's clay there. I'm going to need some of that. Actually, I need that like... I need that on the way back. I need that. That's when I need that. Because the first thing I'm going to build is a furnace so I can make bricks. No, I, I found some bricks. Ah, uh, you'll see. I'm, I'm not going to get into it right now because... I gotta get my car to the base. My stamina is just running, running low. Must be my weight or something, I don't know. Some more clay there, we'll grab that on the way back. I tested a new horde defense area and instead of just building something out in the open where I can get attacked on all sides, I found that building on that ship down there, not on it, but like up to the ship, uh, they they only had really one way to come in at me, so I could funnel them into the traps and whatnot, and and uh, survive pretty quick. But I only went through one horde raid. Like they do, eventually start spitting stuff at you, and you'll see. Uh, fuel ten. That's more than enough to get me home. There we go, my little car. I love this little car. I would never buy this little car in real life, but I. In this game, it's it's gold. Um, one of the things I learned over and over again, seem to forget about, is see these railroad tracks here. Uh, you do cross quite a few throughout the game, and I suggest that you slow right down crossing them because they're they're sitting on top of the pavement itself, and and, and it's just an object that you're hitting in game at a very high speed. And it causes damage. You'll you'll hurt your car. So don't go flying over them because it hurts. Uh, you can hit E to just pop out of your vehicle. Space is is your handbrake, but I think it makes a lot of noise and attracts things. If you drive by a building with a vehicle, um, you're gonna attract. All the zombies are on there. They're all going to hear you. There we go. We're home. I think, uh, I think that's it. We'll start building.